If I were being honest, I'd have to say that Aero Force isn't my favourite location in the Lake District. I'm here with Tom, he's somewhere around here also photographing the waterfalls. There's a couple of viewpoints and so to stop us from getting in each other's way he's moved off to another location. We originally set out to photograph Rydal Water this morning but it was really drizzly and there was no light and so we decided just to give up and head home. But on the way home, the weather cleared um, and we were passing quite close to Ellswater. So we decided to call in the Air Force and see if we could get anything here. I think part of the reason why I don't like Air Force very much is normally I shoot in landscape orientation. I think the landscape looks better on social media platforms like Twitter and Facebook. Uh, it certainly looks better on my website and the calendar that I produce each year is done in landscape orientation as well. Um, but Aeroforce is definitely a portrait shot um, and therefore I'm struggling a little bit for composition. Uh, I'm struggling this morning particularly to find balance. Um, I'm shooting from the top of the steps but um, the, the shot that I've got here is very unbalanced. It's very um, it's dominant on the left hand side um, and I don't think it's a particularly good shot. I always seem to be moaning about compositions but I think composition is so important. I personally don't mind shooting in flat light. I like the muted colours and the understated colours that you get when you shoot in those conditions. But you have to get your, your compositions absolutely bang on, otherwise your shot's got nothing. Anyway, I might give up here and go and see what Tom's up to. I've come down to a little viewing platform just down from where I was shooting earlier and here you get a fantastic view of the waterfall and since I was last here they cut down a lot of trees in this area and that's opened up the view completely and now I can get a completely different composition so normally when you shoot here you fill the frame with the waterfall itself but now I can have a composition where I have this tree on the right hand side which is almost the main subject and then the waterfall is in the bottom left hand corner and I don't think I've ever seen that composition before. Now that they've taken those trees out, it also opens up the view of the path below. And I think that makes a lovely shot. So I'm going to grab that now and then head on and see if I can find Tom. So Tom fans, as we promised, Hello. it's the man himself. <laughs> Welcome back mate. Hello. It's been a year. 
It's been a while. It's been a while. What have you been up to? Uh, working mostly on buy sustainable tuna. Uh, <laughs> mostly tuna based legal work uh, with about two attempts at photography. Brilliant. Well, we'll cover that later on, but what did you, how did you get on today here? Well, we've been driving around for a fair while and I suggested coming to a new location, which I've been to before. You have been here before. Uh, so this is, the Tom, this is the shot that Tom took last time he was here. I've ever seen that composition before. 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 So uh, the last big photo trip was to uh, a place in Tennessee called the Great Smoky Mountains, which I think I've mentioned before. We've done that, yes. And uh, that was a, that was more than a year ago. With a tutor, he pointed out some things with waterfalls which are well worth looking out for. Uh, for those of you going to waterfalls in the future, in particular, particularly in autumn, you get uh, whirlpools and if you either have leaves in the water or find some leaves to put in the water, they create an amazing autumnal effect where if you do a long exposure of 20, 25, 30 seconds, you get a very neat whirlpool uh, and it creates a great effect. You'll need a grad, uh, not grad, you'll need an ND filter, uh, a bit of patience, a bit of trial and error and make sure you keep checking your grad because it gets covered in waterfall spray. Okay, and that's a Tom top tip. That is that is the one only tip I've got for you. And this is the shot that you took this afternoon. Yes, this, this uh, morning. You might need to play with your ISO, your aperture. I was shooting about f11 for what it's worth. Uh, and uh, yeah, you just need about 25, 30 seconds. But watch your exposure. You'll need a polarizer and keep checking that as well and things like that. So they're my waterfall tips from Tennessee all the way to the Lake District. Very good. And we, what we're we going to do now? Going to have a cup Pub. of tea. Pub. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and how did you get on yesterday, which was last week? Ah, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do? Oh, uh, well, we went to Derwent Water. I can't remember. We went to Derwent Water. We, we shot... did some long exposures in place. Well, it ended with a marvellous jetty, which I once went to uh, about 2013. But because it was so flat with sky, we went all out 10 stop Lee Big Filter. Mm -hmm. oh, I love Lee, so if they're watching, I really like Lee. I haven't got a little stopper though, but I really like Lee. Uh, so that worked wonderfully. Uh, you got a good picture, I got a great one, and we only did two or three. <laughs> you got, I got a good one, you got a great one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Relative, you know. Uh, I'm younger. Uh, and Not by much. Prior to that, uh, an average sunrise and uh, a long walk up the top of Castle Crag. That's steeper than I remember it. Yeah, which was frankly, if you're not fit, don't do it. Well, I'm not fit. Uh, exactly, don't do it. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, a bit disappointing, but some good long exposures. I was mucking around with my phone, because don't forget, you've probably got a time-lapse feature on it, which is quite good fun. Uh, but good, it was a long exposure day and uh, some good ones, but uh, could have done with a bit more of a sunrise to magic the day into something better. How about that? <laughs> How did you get on, Chris? Oh, I you've already covered that in last week's video called from dusk till dawn. From dawn till dusk. That, that was, that, that was I what imagine. It was. Yes. It wasn't the Quentin Tarantino. That's film. right, no, it wasn't. Yeah. So I imagine you've already seen his marvellous pictures from yeah. last week. So here's here's a uh, here's a little montage of, no I probably showed actually I probably showed your photos last That's, week as well. Oh, did you? You haven't got them though, have you? Well not yet. Oh there's there should be a mushroom if he plays his cards, right? <laughs> a <laughs> mushroom. Sounds a bit gay. <laughs> <laughs> <Cut>. <laughs> 